Hello everyone. Um, welcome back to another tutorial video. Uh, I feel like that since everyone, a lot of people like those a lot, so I'm gonna continue doing more. And I feel like I wanted to bring out another gun pack and another graphics pack. And yeah, I just wanted to bring it out and just show you guys what it looks like. And also, you guys can install it yourself. I also have them in my own way to uh, for you guys can get them, so you don't have to go to a website. You guys can just go to a Google Drive and install them from there. But uh, first we're going to start with the YVN gun pack. It's actually a nice one. It sounds pretty good. You'll be able to hear them at some point when I get in done showing how to actually put them in and everything. But um, yeah, let's get started with that. So I'm going to have these two links in here for the folders you can get them in. So first we're going to start with the weapon pack. Um, you're going to open this up and these are the two files right here. You just want to, I don't know, you can either download this pack, you can just, I think you can just download this. You can download the pack first, and then you can have it on a real file, like on the computer. But this is just how you can get them. So you can just right click, hit download, and you guys can have them on here. So, uh, first we're gonna do is we're just gonna, um, pop it up first. I'm just gonna do it from here, but that's the wrong one. So, first we're gonna do here. So we're gonna just copy these. When you get them onto your desktop, like when you actually get them into a real file, not on Google, on the drive. So, um, yeah, let me pop that up real quick. Let me go to here and download them. Let me just download them for y'all so y'all can see what I mean. So you're going to get them first. Once it's done, you'll be able to click on it. Just give it a second. It should also pop up there at some point. just doing that but uh here we go see there you go also if you have winrar um that's the best thing you should do i think everyone has winrar so i don't think i have to show how to get that but um yeah just okay so you want to open that in winrar so after you get it open here you go these are the two things you need right here you got to put them in your game so you want to find your gta5 directory you want to go to here Grand Theft Auto, X64, Audio, and then SFX. SFX. Okay, after this, you should find your weapons player and your resident file. All you want to do is just highlight, drag, and drop. Once you drag and drop it, it'll come up, it'll do this, and it'll ask you to replace the file. Yes, you want to replace it. I don't want to, I already have it in. But once you replace the file, it'll replace the in-game vanilla sounds, and it'll put the modded sound in. And that will be pretty much it for the gun pack. Um, next will be the graphics. And that's more of a difficult one, in case you already have a graphics pack in, but it's not that hard. But uh, for this one, you want to go to your 5M. So you want to just type in 5M, right-click, open file location. We don't need that one open anymore. Then you want to go here. You want to go to file location again, application data. Here's your citizen file. And that's what you're going to be replacing it with. So you go here, you download, you go in here, you should get the citizen one right here. I think if I can just do this, right? Just drag it over? I don't know. But we're not going to attempt it. But first, we're just going to actually download the pack. So let's just download it. Let that thing do its own, just let it zip it, and then it'll be downloaded, there we go, and let that finish up what it's doing, and it's done, you want to open it, don't worry about that, it just tells you that, that's just what it always will say when it opens up, now you want to get the 5M one, the 5M application data pulled up, after you do that, you want to click into the better visuals, you want to delete this one, you want to hit delete, because if you have a graphics pack, that's if you have one built in. Either way, even if you don't, just in case you don't mess up your game and have to reinstall 5M, just delete the citizen folder. And then after you're done with that, you just want to drag and drop. And then it will just put in, like, as a brand new one. And then that will give you your better visuals, version 3. After that, you can just close WinRAR and your file. And... 
yeah, that's pretty much it for that. And now let's just move on over to the game. Okay, now we're in game. I uh, wish it was kind of daytime, but I guess you can see how it looks in here at night. But uh, first we're going to pull out the pistol. And we're going to start with third person shooting. I'm also going to mute my mic so you guys can hear it fine without any microphone sound. You just hear it completely normal through the game. So we'll start now. Okay, that was the pistol, which, aka the Beretta, if you can tell that's what it looks like, it's the Beretta, the model. Um, next we're gonna slip, um, slip off to the combat, aka the Glock. Let's hear that now. Sounds pretty good. This is the most, this is why I like this pack, because the Glock sounds amazing. Now that was an amazing weapon. Uh, next will be a taser. Uh, taser. Here you go. Now that's the taser. Um, it's nothing too special. But uh, we have to go over here and get the weapon because we have to get we weapons outside the uh, outside the trunks. Here we go. There we go. All good there. Um, now this is the carbine rifle, aka okay, the M. 14 or M no AR 15 not M I don't know what I'm thinking but uh <laughs> here's this one That's also the flashlight. It's actually pretty cool looking. It's not really bugging right now, so that's good. But it looks really realistic. Look at that. I think if I also grab this flashlight. Oh, that's the vanilla flashlight. <clears throat> but yeah. Um, I think next is the shotgun, but I gotta go to the vehicle to get that. So hold on. Let me just grab that real quick. Nice shotgun. There we go. Okay, now this is the shotgun, and, uh, let's hear it. That's the shotgun. Um, so that's pretty much it for the weapons. Uh, now we're gonna look at the game. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys what the game looks like with now because it's nighttime and might as well just show this part. And then we'll have to wait for daytime to appear, so... The game looks really good. Reflections are nice. Looks actually nice and real. Uh, we got a nice patrol truck here, the FHP 2017 Sierra GMC. Um, it's really nice. Lift it up. It's a marked state trooper truck. But uh, here we go, we're going to look at the lights as well. So, let's just turn them on. Now here are the lights. If I do sound sick, I got a little bit of cold, so to, I'm trying to get rid of it. I'm actually am 
process processing through getting rid of it. So, if you guys saw my live stream a while ago that I did, um, I sounded really bad. That was on my worst side, but now I am getting better. But uh, yeah, so hope this looks good. Um, now we're gonna have to wait till the daytime appears, and then we'll show you what it looks like in the daytime. So uh, yeah, let's just go on to the daytime. Okay. Um, here's the daytime lights. Um, we're gonna drive around a little bit, just to move it around. I also might spawn another car in that has a nice light bar. But this is what this looks like in the, like, the morning time. Um, I guess while I'm at it, I might as well spawn in another vehicle. I think I have it right here. It's the Marshall... Oh. Slip on that part. You just put stuff on it that would be useful. Okay, there we go. Um, here's the lights over this vehicle. These look really nice. I like the little ambers in the back. It has a lot of character to it. This is the City of Los Santos police car. This is actually the siren that the game has, like a, like you guys would know last in the last uh, tutorial I told you guys about that. It's pretty cool though. Here's where the, um, oh this is great, this, the uh, sunrise. Sunrise looks amazing with this graphics pack. And um, I've been using this pack for a while and I felt like I should bring this one in. Just look at that. That sunrise right there is what looks nice. You would not get a really good sunrise with a lot of other packs you guys see on, on all over the place. People that tell you, oh, you get the realistic graphics pack. I think this is the most realistic one because it has a lot of, like, it has a lot of texture. Like, especially if you want really good, actually, that's a good idea. Um, if you guys really want really good lights, um, on your game, uh, don't mind that. Don't, don't mind that. That's, I'm using a lot. I'm using, yeah, see, my texture quality's not even that high up. It's only on high. But I got shader quality very high up, shadow quality very high, reflection high. I could do very high, since I don't think that would make me restart my game. Oh, that looks way better. The reflection? I can't really tell, but it does give it a better... Oh, it does look nicer. I can definitely tell the difference. Okay, well, let's go back to where I was showing you guys what I was going to put in. Or what tell you to do. If you want good lights, like good sh like lighting for that, go on very high. It doesn't do much to your... It doesn't like mo really ruin your performance. Just don't do motion blur, that does take performance away from your game. But, I'll show you the difference between this. This is what that looks. This is what you would have originally. Then we'll, sl we'll amp it up again. We'll amp it up to high. Now this is, this is what shows you the difference between what this does. I just realized that this is the how, this is how you make your lights look better or not. Now you apply high, you like your high settings, hit enter, now look at it. Lights are different, it changed. Lights look way better. But, very high lights, the post effects, looks really good on very high. So let's turn that up, put it on there. Now look, now you get all the bright, all the bright lights, looks all good and it also looks very, very beautiful. And if, you, if you're like me and you like having some nice looking police lights going on with your car and stuff like that, this is the way to go because it makes your lights ten times brighter and it looks way better. So, yeah, this is what it looks like in the daytime. Um, but I'm going to have to wrap this one up here because people are going to be getting a server soon and I might have some ideas for some YouTube videos soon as well. But if you guys enjoyed, please smash that like button and um, stay tuned for more of these. But, uh... Yeah, that's gonna be it for this video, and if you guys enjoyed, please stay continued for more. And, um, make sure you guys watch more of my RP videos, I've been putting a lot out on there too. But, um, that's it for me, um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video as well. Peace.